President Obama nailed this one. Here is the reality, right? A lot of people don't like politicians that that's their job, politicians. So uh, we decided to try on a TV star, Donald Trump. And, well, we didn't try him. He didn't ever win the majority. But, I mean, we, we tend to give more value to these guys than they deserve. Mehmet Oz is a, a contender in the election in Pennsylvania against uh, Fetterman. I mean, that's just how it is. Well, Obama kind of put it into context. I want you to listen to this, and then we'll take it on the other side. Here in Arizona, uh, there's no question that, that Katie Hobbs' opponent, she's good in front of the camera because she's been doing it for a long time. Right? So, some people don't know this, but uh, apparently, Carrie Lake actually interviewed me back in 2016 when I was president. She was, a, she was a local news anchor. She was doing her job. At the time, I don't remember thinking that she was the kind of person who would push debunked COVID remedies or promise to issue a declaration of invasion at our border or claim without any evidence that the 2020 election was stolen. I guess that stuff came later because she found it convenient, because she thought, well, here's an opportunity to get attention. L listen, it, if we hadn't just elected somebody whose main qualification was being on TV, <laughs> you could see maybe giving it a shot. What's the worst that could happen? Well, now we know. It doesn't just work out just because somebody's been on TV. He's on point. What could possibly go wrong? Well, Donald Trump shows us what getting a camera star who has no ethics or values can give to you. And let me give you another one that will likely upset many. Ronald Reagan is another camera star that became the president. And while some would laud him as being this great president, who created a lot of employment. Let's first re realize that Clinton had way more employment than he did, and Clinton also balanced the budget. Ronald Reagan created what Bush called voodoo economics, and in, in, in creating voodoo economics, he blew up the budget. He's the one who started this largest rise in our budget in a long time. Likewise, his employment occurred by using Keynesian principles uh, in a facade of conservatism. It wasn't. He blew up the budget, he deficit spent, and he also increased the military by a whole bunch. What's that again? Keynesian economics, government spending a whole bunch. So Reagan was always a fraud. But again, he's good on camera. And as Obama said, think about this. How did it work out? How did supply economics work out? We're still living with it. And Americans' uh, pocketbook shows it. And how did it work out with Donald Trump? We killed over a million people. We destroyed our economy. And as usual, Democrats come in to try to fix it. Because the fix takes longer, many Americans, impatient as they usually are, at sometimes penalize for attempting to fix the mistakes of the charlatanes. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.